Hello, we are gonna be looking at the song Cherry Pie and how to play it on our recorder. So when we're looking at a piece of music, there are a couple things we wanna pay attention to first. The first couple things we wanna notice is we have this treble clef right here. That tells us what our notes are gonna be. So we know that there is this cute little poem that we have where we put our thumbs up and we put our fingers out and we always, always, always read from the bottom to the top. So we're gonna start on our pinky and our fingers are gonna be our line notes. A line note is when it goes through the middle of the note head. And between our fingers, those are gonna be our spaces. A space note has a line on the top and a line on the bottom. So say it with me if you remember it. E, G, B, D, F. These are the lines of the treble clef. Now we go to the middle, there's the bottom space. F, A, C, E. It's as easy as can be. So our very first, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at this time signature. The time signature is telling us how many beats are in a measure. So if we were to keep a steady beat while we sang this song, between each measure and a measure, just to review, is the space between these bar lines. So in between these lines, we have a measure. And we should have two beats between each measure because our time signature is two, four. So let me go ahead and er erase those markings really quick. And we're gonna look at this. We are gonna read our rhythms with ta's and tatis, starting at this very first one right there. So get your recorder, you can tap it in your hand while we say ta's and tatis. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta, ta. Hopefully you said ta, 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 ti, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta. Ta. Now the next thing that we're going to learn is we're going to figure out what notes we're going to be playing. This song is pretty easy because there are only two notes that we're going to be playing. So we need to figure out what those notes are and then we can practice them on the recorder. So I'm going to change my pen out. We're going to go, let's go to, we'll stay on pink. So we need to first see our first note. Is that starting on a line note or is it starting on a space note? It is starting on a space note. That means that there is a line on the top and a line on the bottom. It is sitting between two lines, so it is a space note. And our spaces are great because they spell the word face. If we read from the bottom space, which is this space right here, I'm gonna highlight this with a different color. This space right here is our bottom space. That's F, then our, the next letter in our word face, a, that's our third space, C, so our first note is C, and then our last space, which is right here, is E, F-A-C-E, space spells face. So our very first note, and all the, we're only reading space notes in this, so we start on a space note, and then we drop down to a different space note, so we're going to start on F. A, C, and then we are gonna drop down to the second space, which is F, A. So we go from C to A. So on our recorder, it looks like this. If we put our middle finger and our thumb together, and then we put them on our recorder, thumb goes on the back hole, middle finger goes on the second hole down. This is our high C. Then our A, we're just gonna drop down that pointer finger, and we're gonna blow nice, gentle, warm air. You can pretend like you're fogging up a window or maybe fogging up your glasses. I have to fog up my glasses a lot to clean them up. Here's our A. Those are the only two notes that we're gonna be having in this song. So the next thing we need to do is we need to practice the rhythm with those notes. So sometimes it's really helpful to say just the note names. This is a really short song. There are only four measures in this whole song. So I'm gonna put it on my chin and I'm just gonna practice the fingering. So we start on C. Here's our C. C, A, C, C, A, C, C, A, A, C, C, A. And that's it. Did you notice that I was singing those notes with the rhythm? So on those tatis, I had to sing them faster. Do it one more time with me. Sing the name of the note while you have it in practice position. B, 
Here's our C, ready, go. C, A, C, C, A, C, C, A, A, C, C, A. So now, if I were to sing this with the words, it would sound like this. practice it on my recorder. So I'm going to start on that C. I'm going to put it in my mouth. I'm going to make sure that my air is really gentle. I'm going to sit up really tall. If you notice the very first note I played on the recorder wasn't great because I didn't, I wasn't sitting up tall. I wasn't doing all of the sort of checks that I need to do to make sure that my recorder sounds its best. So let's just look at the first two measures right here. We're going to ignore the last two measures. It's really going to be helpful if you can break it down. Sometimes it can be overwhelming if we look at a full piece of music, but if we take it a small chunk at a time, it's a lot easier. So start on our C, and then we're gonna go down to the A. And then our second measure goes back up to the C, and it's a top T, so it's And make sure you're adding that tonguing. So let's play just the first two measures again. Start on the high C. Now let's look at the last two measures. So we're gonna start on that high C. So we're starting right here. Let's go down. Now we're gonna to go to the beginning and see if we can play the whole song. If you are having a hard time, you can always pause it and go back and do whichever step is gonna help you the most. Practice it until you've got it. I can't wait to hear what you do.